Hi and welcome back to my playthrough of the Inseln im Nebel and it has been decided by the designer himself Volker Schechtele that official name may be the Islands in the Mist. Isn't that nice? I believe rules wise I was doing okay actually. At least I didn't see any complaints from Volker. So again appreciate being with me and yeah watching my video. Totally appreciate it. And Blue will go, will be the last player, so he's about to roll that die here because, yeah, he's on a zero, whereas Red is on a three. Yeah, yeah let's roll those dice. And again, he gets to make to choose. Okay, oh, that's a nice one. So I think this means everyone gets a tile from the back and we can move northwest. Hmm. Blue wants to really move down here, so I think that's not the most ideal time. He could live with this one, so let's hold on for with this die here. Let's roll the direction die one more time, and let's see. Southwest, hmm, does this help him? Wow, not sure about it, but there is no chance anyway, And but he likes the tile here, so I think no. He will call it a row, that's fine. So both of the players will now draw a tile from the back and we start with Red, she's the starting player and she has to make a decision if she wants to hold on to that or she could trade it in for energy. But right now she's doing really good in respect to energy and having terrain types isn't bad either. If she would move down here, oh, on the other hand, she could in fact use it actually she could. No, I think she wants to hold on to this tile. No, that's fine. That's fine for red. Let's do the same for blue. Hmm, that's a clay one. Oh, that's perfect. Again, it's working out perfectly for him. Unbelievable. But anyway, red will be first. Of course, let's not forget to set the compass here. And now she has to move one, two, three spaces down here. Oh, she could cover up this one, but to be honest, I'm not so sure if this is what she wants to do. One, two, three. No, I think that's fine. Oh, that works pretty well actually for her too. One, two, and three. Next, she can go for a cloud or she can grab one of her bonus buildings. And I believe this is what she wants to do. And the main reason for that is that she wants to move to the harbor and with the module three you only have four spaces here and here she gets an extra one and she wants to trade actually in her favor of course so i think rather ah, but there are so tasty clouds out there too no no and i think she wants to go with this cloud here yeah i think let's get rid of this for now I think she can use the city here quite well, actually. Yeah, let's let's do that. So therefore, she will score one, two energy. Keep in mind that was two. And yeah, she will hold on to the mountain region <clears throat> and to the city. I don't know if the city is her best choice, but I really want to show you as much as I can in this playthrough. So yeah, I think that's that's okay. That's okay. Um, next, she can place um, her landscape tiles, and I think yeah, let's let's go for it. Apparently, she can extend her clouds here, so I think let's do that. So she will place ah uh, clouds, her mountains here. So that's a mountain. That's a mountain. So that's also now tasty. It's two, four, six, seven points because keep in mind it has to be connected to the coastal region in order to score, and she made a connection to her harbor in the center. And I think let's also go for the city right now. It doesn't score her anything, but it cover up this this five here. Um, so she doesn't lose those five victory points. And if she will play some more tiles here later on, she can definitely also score some points with the city. Right now, the city is not is isn't worth anything because there are no landscape tiles around it. And I think that's already the end of her turn. Let's move over to blue. And he's on a zero, so he cannot move. But I think that's okay anyway. So he can spend one energy, and I think he has to spend at least one energy to move down here. I think that's what he should be doing, actually. Yes, so he will spend one energy to move with the wind, so that's perfectly fine. Oh, yeah, and then I have to choose a cloud. But instead of doing that, I think he will either go for the harbor or for this lab or so, I believe it's called. 
No, it's an outlook. Ah, of course, it's an outlook. And, ooh, it's interesting. That's three points, that's two points. But here he gains an additional storage unit. And going to the harbor could be beneficial too, actually. And I'm not sure who will make it. So I think, yeah, let's let's prepare ourselves to really get everyone the possibility to move to the harbor. So yeah, let's grab this tile. Let's place it accordingly. And I really feel already talking way too much again. And then, yeah, let's play some tiles. So he will definitely want to make a connection here or there. Does it matter? Does it matter? Does it matter? No, I think it does matter because no, it doesn't actually. No, okay, that's fine. So we will make a connection here. So that's nothing special. So that's perfect. Another two points for this, I don't know, rocks formation. And I think he will place his harbor right here. And in case you have noticed, this harbor shows a one, two, three. So when it is, if you're the starting player or not, then you can choose if you want to be first or last, because you can say, hey, I'm on a three, or I'm a two, or on a one. That's basically up to you in the end. But we covered up this space here, which gives the blue player an additional eight energy. So it's moving up to 19, if I'm not mistaken. So he unlocked pretty much two of those and that's worth eight points. That's really, really something. Again, that's the end of the round. Blue is on a three, red is on a one. So blue will go first, red will roll the die. Let's sim uh, quickly bring out new landscape tiles. And sorry if I'm really mixing up the order every time. I really don't do that deliberately. It's just me. And here we have, oh, another city. Oh, that's not really tasty. A city and a statue here. This could really benefit. Okay, let's roll the die, or rather dice, and see. Okay, that's another energy, and it's the northeastern region. Huh, I think, does Red like it or not? Maybe. Oh, it's really not the greatest role in the world, but also not the worst role in the world. No, I think she will re-roll the direction die. Let's see. That's the western die, so she will hold on to this. I think she will not change this, so both of the players will get one energy. I will quickly do that off camera. They're both at 20 now, interesting. And I believe now it's actually time to move to the harbor for the blue player. Yes, so that's at the wind to the western region. He's on a three. So he will move now one, two, and three off to the board. But I believe um, he wants to spend some energy because right now he would basically land here. This was his last movement point. For the next movement point, he would go here, and then he would go here. And I think that should be our movement direction. I think he will spend two more energy here because then he can exchange basically one, four, three. And I think that's definitely good. Yeah, let's go for this. So again, he will spend one, two energy. So in total, he has now five movement points. One, two, and three, which will bring him here. Then we spend one, two more points. And this is where he can now trade those things. So instead of taking a cloud, he now has to take, or he now can exchange um, tiles. So he's on a one, two, three. So I think for now, that's not really that valuable. So he will bring this tile here to the harbor now he can take three tiles in return and if he doesn't like any of those he can take three tiles out of the bag or two tiles from here and one tile out of the bag so it's totally up to the blue player now and i guess he will go for the city because he can place the city very well later on unfortunately there is no real um what is it grassland now which would be nice so he will go for a forest or a mountain now he doesn't have either of those i think let's simply go for the mountains first so that's the second tile and i think this one could work for him too on the other hand this one lies let's go for a swamp so that's his exchange in theory he could basically also trade them in for energy but i think the idea was to go for some ideal tiles and of course he has to place them apparently he's not on his island which means he's not to place any additional landscape tiles here. At least is how I understand it, to be honest. Um, there's nothing written in it, but again, you're, you have to be adjacent to one of your tiles in order to do that. And that's pretty much the end of his round. For the next round, he really has to leave the harbor. And I explain to that when we get there, let's do the red player's turn first. So let's set the wind dice. She can move one space, but I think she wants to move two spaces. 
going to the harbor is not that necessary now. Now she will spend one energy now because she only needs one to move one, two spaces here. And I think she can also go for a tasty cloud actually. And that's either this or that. Huh, that's now interesting. Hmm, that's another statue which is in theory, really worth three points for her. Those two are only worth one point for her, but she cannot really use the swamp tile yet, at least not yet. This may change, but right now not. So those are really tiles she can use right away. Oh, that's tough, but she cannot even place this there. Oh man, are you kidding me? That's now really a tough one. No, I think she will go for this because this cloud is going away. No one will get it at the start. The when a cloud is there with three landscape tiles on it, it will get perched and then we'll start all over again. So I think blue will also not benefit from this cloud. And yeah, I think let's do that. That's cool. So she will go for this cloud now. And I think she wants to hold on to both tiles. So that's a statue and the swarm. I think she will immediately place at least the statue now. Yeah, let's do that in order to cover up this volcano here. So overall, she basically made six points by that, if she can, will be in the lead in respect to statues. But right now, that's very likely, in fact. Both of the players now are on a three, and blue has less energy. So blue will be the starting player. So red is on 19, whereas blue is on an 18. So yeah, again, red will roll those dice. But let's first wipe this clout and then we will bring out new tiles so again we will start here but there's another tasty one down there anyway so that's definitely there's always something nice for our players and one for the harbor and then yeah let's roll those dice okie dokie that's the east and one more wind direction does this help the red player in any way no, I think it doesn't. So she wants to hold on to this one. That's a nice one. So let's have a roll again for the direction. That's northwest. Northwest is also not nice, but she has to live with that. And now she thinks if she should roll this die again. Yeah, let's do that. Maybe she gets something better. Okay, she could now move into the opposite direction. So to the southeast, actually. And maybe... It's also not great, actually. Yeah, but she has to live with that. So she rolled both of those dice, so nothing can be done. And yeah, now it's the red, pl a blue player who has to move out of the harbor now with a movement of three. And as the wind is northwest, he has to come into the to his island from the southeast in theory. So always moving here. But because of this die, I think he could also come in from the opposite direction. But to be honest. This works out to be okay because he has a mountain, he has the city. So I think overall he's fine. So where does he want to get in? I think he wants to come in from here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. So that's the first movement. One, two and three. I think that's perfect actually. That's really good for the blue player. Not if you're only on a two, so that's already useful. But I think that's definitely a meaningful full movement for him. Yeah, I think that's nice. Next he could go for a cloud, but who? Oh, as he's really maxed out slowly on this, he could really go for one of his special buildings and that's eight points. He just made it over it. So I think before he spends anything more, let's grab this tile here. And now he can play stuff. And of course he will most certainly place the mountain range here. So this gives him five more energy. So he's moving to 23. So in theory, he could now take the double statues here. This counts as two statues. That's really a threat for the red player. And yeah, he's still not done yet. I think let's also place this one here. I think, I don't know what this is. Is this the lab? Ah, I don't know. It provides eight points. So we could in theory place something here because we already had made the connection and the mountain range could still go over here. But he could also make it like this actually. But here he would cover up zero. No, I think let's cover up that zero. And again, that's a one, two, eight. So you get to choose how much you want to move. Though that's really perfect if you want to move into the harbor for better trade rates apparently. And he could place his swamp or the city, but I think he's not. And yeah, let's move over to red. 
Red is on a three, but let's set the wind accordingly to the northwestern range. Um, hmm, that's now really a tricky one. A very tricky one, actually. Moving up here would benefit her because she wants to get rid of her swamps at some point in time. But moving down here could also help her because there are a whole lot or there's a good cloud for her, actually. I think that's what she want to do. So she can use this die to move into the opposite direction, but she would have to move three spaces, which is not what she wants to do. I think she will either go in here or she will stop entirely, but this would cost her three energy in order to stop. And I think, well, she could move in here for two energy, but then she would have to stop and move. That's five energy. No, she will spend one, two, three energy to stop entirely. She will not use her movement, so she will go first. That's a good thing. And next she will go for this cloud. So she will hold on to those two. And I think, oh, but the mountains are also nice. No, she will, yeah, she will give away this swamp here. She will hold on to the mountains and to the wild card. Therefore, she will gain one energy. So she's back at 17. And I guess the only tile she will place is the wild card down here. Not only will this now provide her one point for the city or from the city, it will also connect the desert and this hills region here closer to her. So she's now more in control, ending the game if she wants to. And that's basically one point each too. So that's two points for this, uh, one point for this, one point for this, and another point for this. Overall, that's three points for her. Not terrible. Red will be first because she's on a three, blue is on a two. I already seeded the cloud. So this is what came out. Some nice green tiles. That's really perfect for the blue player. And blue will also roll the dice now. So let's see what we get. Southwest and we can basically branch off. I think this could be a very nice one. The problem is he doesn't really want to move southwest. So he will roll the direction die for sure. And southeast, Oof, that's not better but she has to, uh, he has to live with that the only thing that he could now decide if he wants to hmm i don't know reroll that die here but to be honest he could use it quite well too on the other hand no that's fine i think he wants to hold on to this die too that's fine red will go first that's pretty terrible for red so that's southeast but she could branch off so she she can go here, she can go here, but she could also move to the west. And this could actually benefit her. That's okay. Um, she has to move one, two, three spaces. I think she only wants to move two spaces. Yeah, let's do that. One and two. This will cost her one energy. So she's going down to 16, whereas the blue player is on 23, I believe. Quite insane, actually. And then he, she has to go for a, yet another cloud. And I guess... She will grab this one here. So she will totally get the mountains. She cannot keep the forest all the thing because she's maxed out. And yeah, so she will cash those in for nine energy. That's definitely not bad, which actually brings her to 25 points in total. So that's 10 points if she would end it this way, but I highly doubt that. Next, play some tiles and she really has to spend some of her mountains. So she will place one mountain here. That's another two point. And she will also place a mountain. Huh, interesting, she could do it. No, I think she can do it like, but if she would do it here, she would also connect basically. No, let's do it here because now she also connected basically both of her coastal areas to the thing here too. Doesn't matter that these are mountains. It will not score her as many points for those two, but it's still okay for, for those. And this is again, another point from the city. So overall, I think that was pretty decent actually. And Blue wasn't really happy, so I think, yeah, I think he has to do something crazy. First of all, he will spend two energy to break to zero. <clears throat> and then he will move two spaces towards the other direction, which cost him one, two, three, four more energy. One and two. Again, he cannot decide to whatever change courses. Now one, one course is set for each round, but I think that's still okay. He has some plans there yeah i think that's nice and then he will go for a cloud and he will go for this one here i believe yeah that's fine so he will keep the wild card but i think he will get rid of the swamp which gives him one two energy back then he will place some tiles he will place his city here 
So that's really now one, two, three, four, five points for this city. That's really not bad. And I think on top of this, he will also place his wild card next here. Okay, that's fine though. That gives him pretty much points for both of the areas. They're both connected. So I think that's two points at least right now also not a terrible thing and i think that's again the end of the round he's on a six now because he's on a wild card red is on a one so red will be the second player so rolling the dice blue will go first so this is the new display so red will roll those dice and she's quite happy with that result. Yeah, she will totally hold on to this result. And again, blue will go first. So let's set the wind direction. And ooh, that's tough. So he has to move seven now because of the plus one. So, and I think he doesn't want to move to the harbor again because you're losing a turn actually. Um, not placing tiles, I think that's bad. Um, one, two, three, I think he really wants to stop here. Wow, one, two, three. So he has to spend four energy to move down, uh, to break down to a three. One, two, three, and four. So wow, this cost him two points already because of his energy meter, but that's okay. One, two, and three. But then he can go for another cool cloud up here, and I think he will keep both of those tiles. Yeah, they're really beneficial. So then he will place tiles, definitely going for this grass. And well, this really will give him so many victory points. And I think, yeah, let's totally also go for this swamp. So right now he only has to connect basically the forest range here and the mountain range, but the mountain range only one um, piece is missing. And again, wow, this really score him a lot of points. I have no clue. I'm not doing any calculations off camera here right now in respect to how both of the players doing. But that's really a nice race. You really have to, to see and check each time. Hey, is it now worth ending the game? Really, really cool. Then it's red wind direction. And I think she really wants to move up here. Uh, she can now move two spaces here but that's not enough she needs to go here actually so she needs to one two three more energy but that's fine she's at 25 so she will go down to 22 one two three four and five who what should she take and now she's really thinking of maybe getting one of her special tiles because again this is worth eight points for her on the other hand. No, she just cannot take this. Uh, this needs 23. Are you kidding me? No, okay, then she will go for this tile. That's eight points. That's also nice. So she will not go for another cloud and then she will play some tiles. And apparently she wants to cover up that volcano here. That's six points she would lose. And yeah, let's make another connection into the swamp land up there. And that's again, two, four points. And the six, she's not losing here. So in theory, that's net at her 10 points. Definitely not a bad move, don't you think? And yeah, she could now decide placing this tile here. This gives her yet another tile, actually. But then she could lose the connection here. But she already has made a connection. And you, you will not be able to score all of the tiles, actually. So I think, yeah, let's do that. Uh, but again, the game will not end yet. And I think there could be better ways doing this. No, let's let's hold on for that. She will really throw curses if she will not be able to place it. But I think for now, we should be safe. She's on a one, blue's on a two, her starting tile actually. So again, blue will go first, red will roll those dice. Blue has to make a choice uh, now because the harbor is full and she will simply get rid of one tile here. This cloud is empty, so that's kind of bad for the red player, actually. So let's quickly seed the clouds and the harbor accordingly. Let's bring in one more here. And then, yeah, red will roll the dice again. And I really have to speed things up, don't you think, guys? Okay, I think it lets, let's count as a northwest. And that's actually pretty terrible for the red player. So yeah, I think oh, she will roll both dice actually, but let's start with a direction die. <clears throat> that's a west, that's also really bad. So she will definitely roll this die here too. And that's one energy. Energy is okay, but she has to live with it anyway. So yeah, let's see what blue will do. Of course, both of the players will get one energy. And next, yeah, he really wants to move to the eastern region too. So I think he has to spend one to energy to break down. At least he got one now. And I think he will spend 
two more energy to move to the other direction one and two wow this really costs you a lot but i think it's still worth it so then he's here and he there's a good chance that he will start the next round again with a six but apparently there are really two great tiles here, and i think he will go for those he will not be able to place them all so yeah i think huh but he will hold on to both of those actually he will grab both swarm tiles then he can make some placement he can only place two tiles here that was why i hesitated maybe he should have exchanged some of those but that's fine let's make a three out of this zero here and uh, yeah this will deteriorate somewhat but that's okay but again this will also score him a hell of a lot of points problem is there are still some volcanoes on his island a five a four and a two so he also has to do something about that red is doing a little bit better she only has two volcanoes to cover up but i think he's not moving towards east to really take care of that and yeah for red that's really terrible uh, she also has to move to the western region so she will spend one energy to break to zero and i guess she wants to spend four more energy to move in here i think this makes sense yeah so one two three and four so one two spaces mm, next she could go for a cloud and i think she will go for this one here right yeah i think she will hold on to the mountain but i think she will basically put this back this gives her two more energy of course she will place some tiles she will definitely place this tile here so that's basically for minus two to eight points another 10 points she netted in theory great and i think hmm can she now place this mountain or should she hold on to this no i think she will hold on to the forest region or the mount the forest region here because there is still another volcano to cover up and this could also give her a lot more points but again blue could end the game relatively early so she's on a three red is on a six again red will roll the dice i will see the board there is one tile to remove i will go for yet another desert tile here from the market on the other hand blue could also think no let's get rid of the statue here and then yeah i will reseed the board off camera and again red will roll the bones oh, another western region you must be kidding me no she will roll this die for sure east perfect she will hold on to this but she may want to now re-roll that because she doesn't need the extra movement and that's an energy perfect so both of the players will get one energy again i will do that off camera and then it's blue and again i'm not sure if he wants to move now six spaces uh, to the east one two three four five six or so he would move two spaces to the harbor but i think it's too late for him in the game so i think he needs to break down as well but how far does he want to move actually because there is still a swarm hmm, maybe he only wants to move in here actually but and there is no mountain out so okay that's now interesting choice and i guess he wants to move only two spaces one and two which means he has to spend four energy to break down that's really quite a lot so he's down to nine energy now he was at 24 or 23 at, at some point in time so he's really losing a lot of points from that but that's still okay i guess he got one energy from from the die roll anyway so i think that's okay and for sure he will go for this or that but this i think is more beneficial to him right now yeah let's get this wild card he will put this away so this gives him one two three energy back so he's now back at 12 so six points pretty much or he got gained two points out of that energy i think that's not bad at all he will definitely place this swarm here for yet another yeah i think that's okay the connection is not that important but it scores two more points and he will place the wild card here because he wants to cover up that bad fiver and again this also connects the forest now so again right now basically with two tiles he could end the game because connecting this one and connecting the mountain region down here not too bad uh, he is on a two hmm, maybe there is a chance that red will go first next round not every time it's a problem it's really only a problem when there is a specific cloud you want to have have apparently and of course if you want to decide who um basically rolls the dice this can be pretty important too so she has to move three spaces to the east but i think she will break two times so she will spend two energy again this will cost her two victory points yeah 
and yeah then she will grab this cloud here i really thought about it uh yeah she will take the statue i think she doesn't need this one here so therefore she will claim four more energy one two three and four which gives her the opportunity maybe to get the two statues here that's six points for her so that's definitely not the worst decision in the world then she will play some tiles and for sure she wants to cover up that volcano here and the statue could go in here too because she already made a connection to the swamp land so i think she can do that and again that's another three points again if you are in the lead in respect to statue the second player gets two and so on and i think that's the end of the round they are both on a tube again blue has less energy so he will go first actually again red will have to roll the dice and that's choice for the round here and again red has to make a decision southwest and plus one and that's actually not too bad for the red player to be honest i think she will hold on to this die roll yep it's not great for blue actually because he really wants he could also move in here actually that's not bad either so he doesn't need to break all along so he has to move three spaces but he only wants to yeah go one so he has to break twice actually keep in mind that's a plus one on that die here yeah i think that's okay and yeah he will go for this cloud he will definitely hold on to the swarm tile that's for sure and oh that's a tricky one and i think he wants to hold on to this too i think that's fine that's fine let's see how things turn out in the end he will place this swarm tile here for sure so now he also made a connection here to the forest uh, land actually so the only piece that's missing is this one down here actually and who in theory he could place this tile too maybe he really should have spend it actually yeah i think let's spend it let's not keep it he will spend it and this will also move him over this threshold here that's two more points in theory i'm pretty sure things will change later on as well and that's already the turn of the blue player that was not really a bad pick for the red player she wanted that swamp land too apparently oh man what is she gonna do now plan was really moving here place this um swamp land there for another two points and wow that's now really terrible actually but i think she will move one two three keep in mind we still have the plus one here she will spend one more energy to move in here and so she will be first the next round this could be important actually and then she will go for hmm this cloud here yeah let's go for it so that's a statue she wants to hold on and the greenland i think that's fine too i think she can place the statue here so she will get eight energy in her but she's maxing out at 25 so she's really losing a lot of energy this way but that's still okay and i think let's also place the greenland here so this could help her maybe in in a future turn or so yeah i think that's cool i think for her is also now nearly everything is connected only green that's a lot green the meadows the forest and the swamp but they're all close now they're really all close and then again it's the end of the round she's on a two so blue will roll the dice next round so again this could be important this is the selection for the next round blue will roll the dice now so that's west and one energy <clears throat> that's really not great actually the problem is who i think he really wants to end it i think he does um i think he wants to hold on to the energy for now let's roll that die again that's northwest that's even worse to be honest but i think nothing he can do about it he will hold on to those both will get one energy again i will do that off camera red is maxed out so that worked out pretty well for blue actually but red will be first now and i think she can live with the result so she will take the movement as is one and two yeah i think that's okay then she will select the cloud and i guess she wants to hold on to this she will definitely not trade in frenzy because she will lose it right away 
that's now a tricky part. She will definitely place the swamp land here because this will score her two more points for this contiguous area here. But does she want to place in this one? Does it help her? Does it benefit her in any way placing this there? No, I think it doesn't. So she wants to hold on to the desert. Maybe she can place it down there later on or maybe here. Again, you don't have to have the match those. We just need to make the connections to the coastal region. It has to be landscape tiles. So statues and cities, they don't make a connection. It's really landscape tiles to trigger the end of the game here. And I think that's already it. She's on a two, hmm, not the worst cloud or worst tile in the world. Then it's blue. Uh, he will stop for one. And yeah, he has to move towards the other direction for two more. Again, she, he's losing now two points for that, but I think it's still crucial for him. Yeah, let's do that. And yeah, he really wants to end the game. I think he can do that now. Yes, he can. So let's choose a cloud and he will go for this one here, actually. Yeah, I think so. So he will hold on to this and I think he wants to spend this because he gets four more energy and this could give him directly points actually. Yeah, let's do that. So that's one, two, three, four energy. So he could also place this one. That's another four points. And yeah, he would definitely place this one here. And now he has made a connections to all of his coastal region again. No, he doesn't. Oh, stupid me, I didn't see it. This is not connected. This doesn't count. Oh, what a bad decision. Oh, that's bad. Okay, we have to go for yet another round. Oh, that's terrible. Now I think he can still make it next round, but I was really hoping that he could make it. Oh, wow, I was really distracted. So this again, it has to go through a landscape and this one doesn't connect to the shipyard here, whatever it is. Oh, that's really, really bad. Okay, but that's the end. Um, Red will again go first. He's on a zero, she's on a two. That's the offering. I think that's pretty cool for both. So here's another statue, some wild cards. So I think that's really good for both of them actually. And yeah, blue has to roll. So let's see, that's east. I think that's perfect for him. Yes, he will totally stick to the result. Perfect. So let's see, she has to move one, two, three spaces here. Does she want to move three spaces? Basis. Does it matter? Does it matter? I think she can move here actually. I think that's fine. That's actually fine. Yeah, one, two, and three. So she will stop here on a zero for the last round, probably the last round, then next one. That's okay, I guess. And she will most certainly go for this one here. So she wants to hold on to the forest. And I think that's fine too. She wants to keep it as well. So I think, yeah, this makes sense. And actually, now she will end the game. Ha! Huh, interesting. But again, blue would have done the same. So this is now a connection here to the forest. That's fine. Um, she will also place this desert tile here. This will now connect the here to the Greenland. This will also connect to the swamp. We have a connection down here to the brown, to the desert and to the mountain. So again, it doesn't matter which of the landscape tiles we are connecting. So the she now triggered the end of the game actually so everyone gets yet another round so full more round next but blue can now make a meaningful decision actually hmm, or meaningful turn <clears throat> so he will move one space because of the plus one keep that in mind i think that's okay he will grab this cloud and he wants to oh, does, does he want to hold on to this one too does it benefit him in any way actually I think it doesn't. So he will toss this away. He will keep the wild card. And therefore he will get one, two, three more energy. So he made it over this threshold here. And then he will make the connection here too. So this will count only for the swamp land, unfortunately. Um, in theory, it would also count for this brown one, but brown doesn't have a connection to his coastal area. So that's kind of a bummer. But there's one more round. So if he makes something like this, then this could make a difference actually. So he also triggered the end of the game, but yeah, only Red did it before. And no, that's incorrect, I believe. Let me check. No, I think it's really is. I think if you do that in the same round, you both get the 10 points. Okay, that was really important for Blue too. Yeah, only if the players would make the next one uh, doing the next round of the last round, then they would gain only five points. But as he also made this connection now, I think that's really legal. Yeah, they both get the 10 points. Okay, that's really important.
So, final round. Red is on zero, blue is on one. Again, this could make a difference in theory. Yeah, I think it really could, actually. And yeah, <clears throat> red will roll the dice, though. Okay, that's maybe also a bummer. And that's actually the offering for the last round. Here's another tasty city. Could give you some points, but again, this could also be pretty great, actually. Hmm, okay. Let's have red roll the dice for the last time. And let's see if we can do something meaningful out of that. That's south east and for her it doesn't really matter i believe actually or does it does it oh, i think she will not get the cloud she needs actually i think she will reroll that because it could benefit the blue player now and that's northwest i think she wants to hold on she doesn't get anything for this so i think she will roll this one too that's a plus one and maybe that's better for her so blue doesn't get any energy she's maxed out anyway so i think overall not a bad roll yeah, that's actually pretty terrible. So he's now at a two movement and he has to stop. So he has to make two energy to stop because he really wants to move down here, apparently. Yeah, let's do that. Um, and then he wants to move two spaces, one, two here, uh, one space down here for two energy, that is, because she's moving basically into another wind direction. And then he will most certainly go for this cloud here. And I think, hmm. I think if he tosses this, he could gain more points, actually. I think he does. Yeah, I think he will not go for this wild card now. He only will take this. This gives him six more energy. It's basically two more points. And apparently he wants to build over this volcano. That's two points now for this mountain range here, but it's also basically plus four points for the volcano he covered. Okay, that's the end for blue. Red couldn't care less. She will simply move up here. And I think she will simply grab, instead of taking a cloud, she will go for the statue. She's allowed to do that. She will place the statue. And again, doesn't really matter where she will place, but that's six more points for her because she has the ultimate majority in respect to those points. That's the end of the game. Let's do the final scoring. Of course, she could also place this one, but again, doesn't benefit fit her in any way but let's do it just for the laughs and yeah that's pretty much who doesn't want to have a desert next to a mount uh, to a forest range and now let's off to the final scoring again i will only explain this once now so again you get two points for each of the contiguous lines that are pretty much connected to the coastal areas on top of this you also gain some extra victory points for landscape types that are five or higher that's another three points for each of those types that is so that's one two three four five so that does count this does count so overall a whole lot of points again those wild cards only score you one point but again they also count for all of the terrain types so those three pretty much count for the desert but they also count for the brown ones here so that's two four five six seven points not too bad and that's four uh five more points here for the um, desert range here. Again, I will do all the counting off camera now. And again, there are points for the energy and points for those special buildings here. But again, I will now do the math off camera. And that's the unbelievable end result. They both ended on 85 points. Are you kidding me? Now the tiebreaker is the player with the most energy and that's clearly the red player with 25, whereas blue only, only quotation marks, is on 80. So red wins the game. Hooray for red, hooray for Unita. Awesome job. And yeah, this is pretty much how you play the islands in the mist again i'm not showing you how to play it well i'm just showing you how to play it and i really hope i didn't mess things up apologies that i only was able to show you the harbor ones but again it has to match and sometime at some point in time a race starts to go on because you feel oh someone is ending now the game so i have to do something about that because this gives me also 10 points instead of only five or maybe none points at all if i'm not making the final connections here so yeah again don't take whatever i do as best strategy advice in the world for this game just to show you how to play this game and i really hope you enjoyed it i definitely do enjoy this game thanks again for Volker watching over me hope to see you soon in one of my other videos and until then bye bye <laughs>